Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Defenders. In this episode we're going to Foundries and Forges, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, favorite episodes, uh, favorite levels, uh, because of the way the map is set up. There's of course the crystal right in the middle and then three little doorways with the stairs leading up to them that uh, the enemies come from. Now one of the reasons I like this level is because it's very symmetrical which is something that I don't, I don't even know why it makes such a big deal to me. Uh, I sort of want to say I'm OCD, but I know I'm not like, medically OCD, and saying you're OCD could be sort of like offensive to the people who actually are OCD. So I'm just going to say that I really like when levels are symmetrical, because it makes things easier to set up, because you can just set up the same setup um, you can just make you can build the same towers in the same way on all the on all the symmetrical parts, uh, which makes my job quite a bit easier. And uh, I really wish the square would walk faster, <laughs> but unfortunately he does not. I mean, you could give him stuff to make him walk faster, but at this point in the game, I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, so uh, with all these spike blockades here. It might seem like, oh hey, there's a big hole right in the middle. Well, the enemies kind of get drawn towards the towers, the buildings, or whatever you want to call these things, um, the defenses. So they're not just going to walk around it. Obviously, that's kind of what makes them pretty dumb. Uh, pretty easy to defeat because they just walk right into the trap. Like, literally, they just walk right up to it. Um, and you just gotta wait for like the second wave within the wave, um, like a mini wave, a microwave, but um, you just gotta wait for them to spawn. So they don't want to send you with too, send too many at you at once. All right, and then of course the second round has uh, ar archers. Dark Elf Archers, which is uh, something I should talk about now. Um, the Dark Elf enemies will target you before they target your defenses. Uh, the Goblin, obviously that was kind of attacking me because I attacked it first. But the Dark Elf Archers, the Dark Elf Mages, and the Dark Elf Warriors uh, will all prioritize you rather than, the, rather than the defenses. They will still attack their defenses if you're not around. But as soon as you get near, then they'll start attacking you. Um, so yeah, uh, that's another problem that I have with these guys. Although that problem should be solved soon, because I should level up enough to get the harpoon turret uh, soon. Oh, oh man, by the end of this level, <laughs> I better have it. Um, now I never really use the bouncer blockades uh, because, oops. Um, they have a lot of knockback, which isn't very helpful for me because I want the enemies to be killed quickly um, with the spike blockades. So having the bouncer blockade just kind of um, uh, postpones their death. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Just gonna walk around and place these down. All right. Um, it's gonna walk so slow. So slow. And uh, I was just recording my Bloom's Tar Defense episode. Now I think I'm losing my voice, but I'm not really sure why, because I don't talk that loud. I'm not that crazy. I don't talk that often. But I guess talking for all these episodes does kind of take a toll on your voice, which is something that I'll just have to like grow out of, which not like I'm young and I need to grow up out of it, but I just mean like uh, working out my voice by just talking, and then eventually I'll have a stronger voice, I guess. It's, the voice is like most other muscles, I'm not sure if you would say all other muscles, but it works the same way where if you use it, it gets tired, but then it comes back stronger, so that's always nice. 
And I don't really need to collect any more mana because I don't have any more mana or anything to spend my mana on uh, because I don't have Harpoon turrets, so the only thing I'd spend it on would be a Spike Blockade or a Bouncer Blockade. Uh, both blockades I don't need anymore because I've got these Spike Blockades covering this entire wall. And the middle one was just in case because if there are enough enemies that there's so many attacking the Spike Blockade that uh, no more can actually reach the blockade, then they will go around because there's no point for them to stand there and do nothing. Which, which would have been nice if they just kind of waited their turn to die, but they're not quite that dumb. Alright, just gotta keep these last archers. It was frustrating, but again, hopefully, I will get the harpoon turret soon. And then the harpoon turret will deal with them, and I will not have to. Which will make this more effective and quicker. And blah. Alright. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, or I can't tell yet, um, but the. Oh, yeah, I can upgrade, duh. Uh, with the upgrade button. Uh, the hotkey for it is 5. I don't know if you like to change your hotkeys or anything, but I just stick with the originals, or the default usually. Alright, uh, I'm also going to get another weapon, just just to help me get rid of the archer, because I still don't have the harpoon turret. Alright, um, I'm just going to go around and collect some more mana and upgrade whatever I can. So I'll catch you after the... Or, what did I say catch you? That's weird. Uh, I'll come back, obviously, after the jump cut. Alright, um, so... I just upgraded a few things. You can tell on the minimap, the ones with the little carrot. The, uh, kind of like an up arrow type thing. Uh, those are the ones that are upgraded. So now I just will wait and wait for the archers. Once again, just need to get down there and deal with them. And that extra sword, or that extra power from the sword, is quite helpful. <laughs> Either there was no, there were no archers on one side, or they were just uh, kind enough to walk into my spike blockade and die. <laughs> is the boring part of the beginning of this game. It's just all the waiting for the archers. And something that, uh, if you're new to the game, you don't know. Uh, if you're, if the enemies are within this little purple area, then they are still invincible. If they walk out of it and then back into it, I'm pretty sure that they are invincible. Would that be how you say it? Uh, they are, they are not invincible anymore. Um, it's only because they don't want you to just totally destroy or like camp right at their spawn point. So they give them a little time uh, to be invincible. Except for the ranged enemies. The uh, archers are not invincible within that area because then they would just camp and uh, stay within that invincible area and all that. Alright, so now I can level up. I uh, don't know why I didn't already auto send me here. Alright. Uh, wait, in the build phase, there's still more. Right, ah, they're on the other side. Ah, I gotta walk all the way over there. I really need harpoon turrets. It'd be nice if I could, you know, level up to get one. I'm texting while walking. Not exactly a good idea, but not as dangerous as texting and driving. Which I don't do because I don't drive. Um, alright. There we go. I'm just going to upgrade these, which I probably shouldn't have, because I probably should have saved that mana for the Harpoon Turrets. And yeah, probably should have upgraded the other three, or not really the other three. Should have increased my rate of fire rather than my health, because I'm going to be using Harpoon Turrets, which require more rate of fire than they do need health. Because the Spike Blockade is going to protect them from most attacks, uh, not quite all of them, but the majority. So let's just go back this way. Now I used to put my harpoon turrets right here. It's not a very good angle to see. Um, I used to put them here and then just angle them there, but I've realized that it's probably better to put them right there. 
just because when they're on that higher level, it makes it harder for them to hit the, the enemies closer to the wall. But when they're on the floor, they can just pierce through all the enemies. And I know that I have a pretty boring voice voice right now because I'm a little tired, I guess. It's not that early in the morning, but still feel a little bleh. Uh, got some kind of bad news, I suppose. Um, earlier this morning, once I woke up, nothing to do with me necessarily, but just people that I know that are going through a tough time right now. Uh, so it's making me a little bleh. But I already kind of made the commitment to make these videos, so I'm going to have to make them whether I feel like it or not. And unfortunately that just means you suffer because you don't have very exciting commentary. And again, I am kind of losing my voice, which still confuses me because I don't lose my voice very often. Whenever I do, it's usually because of Six Flags um, or some thing like or I'm at some party, I guess. Okay birthday party of some sort. And, oh look, a kobold! Uh, pretty sure that's how you would pronounce it. Um, they pretty much kamikaze. Uh, suicide bomber type thing. Which is sort of a not good word to use. Because I'm sure that offends someone or brings up bad memories, but that's pretty much what they are, so don't know what else to call them other than just, you know, kobold. But it's kind of a boring thing to call them. Just their name. Alright, uh, another harpoon turret. They are kind of expensive though, at least at the beginning, when you only have, uh, 160. So, yeah, harpoon turret can take care of them. And of course, there's more archers on this side, which I should have used my money to get the, uh, harpoon turret on this side. They are just taking down those walls. Alright. Come on. Let's get rid of those. Get behind the wall when you're gonna build. Because one of the most frustrating things in this game is when you're upgrading, repairing, or building, and an enemy hits you. Usually an archer, because those always seem to be able to hit me. No matter where I am. Even if I'm behind shelter, sometimes they can still hit me. Not because they necessarily get through the shelter, that would hurt. Um, but just because they find some area where it's not protecting me. Okay. Uh, where? Okay, there's two more enemies. Wow. Alright, I should have gone behind the wall, like I was just talking about. But thankfully, the enemies did not get through fast enough to hit me. Alright, uh, and what I was saying earlier, before I cut myself off, um, the, the audio on the game, or maybe the audio on the computer, laptop thing, uh, is kind of toned down, so I can barely hear the game, which I don't know if that will mean that you can barely hear the game. I think the, um, I think perhaps my recording software, We'll just pick up the audio at a set uh, audio level, a set volume, that's what I meant. Um, so I don't know if it'll be quiet for you or not. If it is quiet, then that's lame, I suppose, but I always lower the volume anyways, so that you can hear my commentary over it. Um, but again, partly because I'm talking a little quiet, and partly because the game's quiet. I don't know how all that will work out, but that doesn't really matter much to you because you're not the ones editing this video. So yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Just rambling for the sake of talking, which is not always the best idea. And uh, something I should point out is that now that it's uh, wave 6 out of 6, basically because it's the last wave, uh, now the enemies are a little bit stronger. Mostly the goblins, I think. I think it's just the goblins. That are a little bit stronger, uh, they have a little more HP. Um, I'm not sure if they actually do more damage, but um, they're a little more frustrating I suppose, especially if you were usually going down there and attacking them yourselves. You would be able to tell the difference a little better, but uh, because I just have my defenses, because my defenses are awesome at the moment, uh, I can't really tell how much harder they are. I'm just building a few more harpoon turrets in this one, because of something that you shall probably soon uh, become familiar with. Uh, oh, I need more defense units. Um, it's also something I should probably talk about. Give me less armor. Gives me negative armor. That's less than useless. Um, let's see. Uh, there it is. An ogre has arrived. And that is not a good thing. Not a very fun thing. 
Uh, the ogre, it always comes from the same place. Um, so in this level, it always comes from that door. So I'll just build a few more harpoon turrets in here, rather than any of the other doors, because you're going to need it. Uh, it has quite a few uh, HP health points. It has quite a bit of health. So it's going to take quite a bit of damage. Or it's going to deal a lot of damage. Well, it was doing quite a bit. Um, but I'm sure my defenses will be fine. I don't feel like getting in there to repair them because his attacks will probably hurt me. And look, he gives you massive well, not really massive amount, but uh, more mana than usual. And yes, my defenses are pretty close to death, so I should probably repair them, but the wave just ended, so I don't want to waste any mana. Not like I need it, because I've got almost 2 billion. It's ridiculous. And I still don't want to get that uh, equipment, because I don't need it. I don't need it. So why get it? Um, Alright, so that's it for this episode. It's a pretty boring episode. Uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.